Bird 232, uh, right heading 235, and report localizer established runway 27 left, Speed Bird uh, 232. Hello, everybody, and welcome back again to another video that I was really uh, not sure about recording it. And the reason is, it really depends on so many things and so many variables. So, first of all, everybody has his own hardware and everybody has his own settings and there are like, there are a lot of settings and different add-ons and etc. So, today I'm gonna try different scenarios where I try my best to actually show you exactly why everybody is talking about bad performance on the prepare version 4 and um, I will try my best to actually guide you through what you can expect when you are running into those scenarios that everybody will be having issues in those conditions and I don't know exactly if Lockheed Martin team will fix those issues or it's gonna be the way it is like like right now so without further ado let's jump in so first of all I loaded the PMDG 737 at the Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport and this is by the way the flight beam airport so it's a bit on the high end uh, scenery is there and we are having some traffic going on so that actually have to be taken into consideration First of all, I loaded the aircraft as it is with almost clear weather. So this is not the current weather at St. Paul International Airport. This is uh, injected, custom injected by Active Sky. So now we are running, as you might guys see, 29, 26. So I would say 30 FPS locked. So the way I'm testing this is my main panel lights are on, landing lights are on, runway, taxi, anti-collision. So those are the important things that dynamic lighting have very big impact on. So if we step outside, we can see almost the same 30 FPS locked. So I'm gonna inject the custom weather right now, which is rainy, cloudy weather, just to make sure the graphics card get taxied out, and we are kind of running into the maximum uh, ability to test the, the the lighting. So I'm gonna go ahead and try a different weather scheme right now so I'm waiting for that to load okay so we haven't dropped uh, a lot so 3 FPS is not bad if we step inside now it's getting the same I would say more FPS drop so 3 to 4 FPS a drop and I can assure you that the graphics card is not happy at all so what's happening now I'm gonna show you my graphics settings and I'm doing 2x multi sampling so this is actually MSAA running and this is what's what I usually uh, run with the reason is because I have 34 inches uh, curved display and it's running at uh, 34 
40 by 1440 so it's not 4k display but it's almost there so I don't need to apply a lot of anti-aliasing so as you might see the FPS is kind of holding his thing together so I'm gonna range my graphics settings to exactly show you why is everybody is talking about bad performance when using server sampling so if we step to graphics and went to for MSA so now we are running we dropped almost three FPS's now we're stable and at the same so we we had some drop there I'm gonna step outside so a little bit of drop not that much so one to two frames not bad at all so again a MSAA same gonna step outside and things got a little bit hefty on the graphics card there we're seeing almost three FPS has dropped and it is locked to 23 right now so I'm gonna change the view and it's it's gets even worse when we are changing views but with this level of anti-aliasing I would say it is really flyable I mean some people do not like it when it, it drops below the 30 FPS but this is honestly flyable because once we we are left off from the runway and we, we cleared some of those heavy clouds we should be good to go so I'm gonna step inside and show you exactly what everybody is talking about so 2SSA 2SSAA and it's gonna load the whole graphics there so now we dropped almost 4 FPS's and if I start yeah you can see that guys yeah w I mean we are at 2x SSAA and we are already seeing that slideshow effect going on so again yeah we, we it is fluctuate into the kind of 20 to 23 if we step outside the effect will be higher but I mean this is still within I mean I don't know if I would say flyable and somebody's just landing above us so yeah we had that going thank you prepare default ATC for letting that guy land on top of us so anyway let's do forests AA and things will get interesting 14 FPS 10 FPS and yeah that's not what I might call it flyable so 10 13 15 FPS and the outside is not very entertaining so 12 FPS and the reason why I haven't done this using an average or a maximum and 
and the lowest kind of FPS because I want you guys to see exactly how it looks without seeing the numbers so I mean I can assure you that things will not get better with ASSAA so let's do that and now we are into single digits and that was what everybody's talking about on AppSam or any other forums even on reddit everybody was talking about bad performance using SSAA so here it goes single digits so I'm hearing another aircraft is landing on top of me so yeah that anyway so I will try my best here to turn off the lights so dynamic lights please go off so to off let me see here if I can reach it so panel brightness off panel brightness overhead panel to off I know it's a disorienting view but okay so here you go guys we went from single digits to almost 23 FPS without dynamic lighting going on with the aircraft itself so we're still having dynamic light on the scenery we have it on the runway we have it with everything is being rendered but the heavy lifting is always on the add-on itself on the aircraft itself so if we step outside same FPS drops a little bit we have another guy oh my god so we have another guy just landed on top of us and the reason why the FPS is just dropped because his landing light illuminated the ground and we saw that drop to the single digits so it's not totally flyable but at a super sampling anti-aliasing this is really good I mean this is the best it could get when you guys talking about super sampling but comes with a hefty price if we apply some lighting here we are done so we dropped almost three to four FPS just by illuminating the ground if we added the full team there with the panel lighting and everything you start getting into those slideshows so you guys have to work out to see exactly what suits your your normally flying weather what suits your hardware and what suits your day-to-day -day add-ons that you use so it's 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 a really a balanced game to go from graphics settings to hardware and try to minimize what's causing the, the worst impact on your experience there so with that said that was my kind of short brief on the dynamic lighting impact using the prepared version 4 so if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and hope to see you in the next video.